Hey, I'm Jojo. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to hit the table in a second, but if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. John with Tabletop Takeovers. Thanks for joining us today. We have a special Kickstarter bonus episode. And uh, who else is with me tonight? I'm Jordan with uh, One Up Two Nerd. And we have one of the creators. Uh, I am Jared from Bard Games. I am actually the production manager, so I've been developing the physical components of this game. Um, and he's uh, joining us here in Anaheim tonight. With a special, uh, they're currently on Kickstarter, so as you're watching this, it is available to purchase. We'll put the link up uh, in the description here. But we have a sci-fi uh, resource management game, so really excited for that. And I'll send it over to Jared, kind of uh, let us know what sounds uh, good. What's going on? A brief description of this, so we can start playing. So we've got here the Lost Worlds of Josh Kirby. One of the things that makes this really cool is all of the artwork is from famous artist Josh Kirby. He did a lot of really great stuff, like Star Wars and Terry Pratchett books, Ray Bradbury. Um, so we took a lot of his unpublished work and put it on this cool game. Uh, this game is uh, basically a space opera, so you're going to be rolling dice for actions and do a little bit of worker placement, area control, in order to conquer or save the Lost Worlds. Um, so the way it works is, uh, on your turn, we're going to roll these three dice, and we're going to be taking some actions to either um, start saving or conquering some of these worlds and uh, getting the most points. So we, we'll be taking some ships, sending some ships out, gaining some victory points, and hopefully rolling lots of dice. I like to roll dice. Yeah. And then we are going to be tallying points up. What's it going to take to win this game? Well, we are playing a three-player game, so in this instance we are going to 16 points. First player to have 16 points is going to end the game. We will each get a turn after that, regardless of who started playing. Uh, everybody gets a last turn, and then uh, we will tally up all our remaining points to see who had the most and was the strongest presence in the galaxy. Cool. And, and everything you see here is all prototypes. So this is the finished product. I, they probably have uh, all some close-up photos and some finished product or somewhat finished product photos on the Kickstarter itself. So make sure you check on there. And there's some stuff that uh, you might be able to get to vote on what goes into the final game as far as art choices and things like that. So go check out the, the page so, if you want to see the cool stuff in there. Get your cool. opinion on it. So that would be good. So. For sure. Um, we're playing a three-player game tonight. You should play, uh, play two to four. And, uh, two to five, actually. Oh, two, two to five. five. Sorry, two to five. Yeah. So. Prototype box is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, who's first player? Uh, well, uh, we, uh, that one person. Choose, uh, that, one, that one person. We do it randomly. I'll be the first player today. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to get it started. I'm going to roll all the dice. At the beginning of the game, I am a scoundrel. Uh, during the game, there's actually a morality tracker that's going on here. So if you save and uh, settle the worlds uh, or conquer them, you are doing good or evil things. And that's going to change what we can do with the dice. We're going to get to re-roll different dice as we get more, more evil or more good. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these up. And what we'll do is we'll actually post a photo of on, the, on the, the video as well, so you'll be able to see the board. Sounds good. All right, so to start here, I've got some move actions and a settle action. Um, I'm going to go ahead and re-roll these two dice. And we can re-roll every dice once? You can re-roll every die once. Perfect. You have, you have to Depending on where your morality is. Got it. Exactly, yeah. Whatever dice you have available to re-roll, you may re-roll so once. We, so we got some serious ship movement over here. We yeah. do, we and do. Settlements. So... We got a lot of doubles, so doubles are good. Doubles are quite good, you get to do a lot of stuff. I got a double move, I'm gonna take two ships out of hyperspace here. That's one die I've used. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and settle with two die now, and we are gonna go and... I'm gonna start settling this world over here. Uh, so if you look at the world there, if I can pick it up, um, in the corners here you have a number, and uh, if you are settling, you're going to go to this side, and you're going to need, as this one says four, you're going to need four ships over there to settle it, and take the world for uh, yourself, and put it on your player board. That'll give you four points, right? That'll give you four points right. at the end of the game, and if you are conquering it, it's uh, three ships, but that's going to give you less points at the end of the game. They're a little easier to get, but you have to get more of them. All right, so I got two on the settle side over here, and then I'm going to use this last move here in order to just go ahead and take this out of hyperspace. And I'm going to pass these dice to you. It's your turn. I think the best part is people are going to be picking up some, some background noise right now. They are watching 
we're watching Star Wars right now. Yeah. Yep. So if you hear some noise, there's some Star Wars going on. So we're a sci-fi game, got Star Wars in the background, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> My turn. That's right. Oh, I got a double. And one of each. I'm gonna risk it and roll these go. two again. Nice, nice. We got a double. And a move. Perfect. I, that's not too bad of a start. So if I want to resolve this first, I can actually pull two from my orbit, right? You got it. Put them on here. And then I'm going to send two out to Conquer. Do they both have to go in the same world, or can I split they them? They don't. You can put them anywhere you want, as long as it is on a Conquer side. So I want to invest some stock right here. And right here. Beautiful. And then I... This is another move, right? That's yeah. another move. So I can grab my other ship? You can. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. I, I feel pretty good. good about that move. <laughs> Ooh, doubles. So this is a move so, or a conquer? Exactly, guy? it's okay. an or, the slash, yeah. Two moves, two conquers. I want to reroll these. Alright, so I got a renown, so I gain a renown. So, yep, you take a renown. Uh, as you go through the game, we gain these renown. Uh, sometimes if other play players wreck your fleets, if they take a world that you were working on, um, your fleets go back to your home, and then you get renown for each fleet that you took, or that, that came back to you. Okay. Um, and that renown can be used to uh, place your champion if you are neutral or on the good side, and that champion's going to reduce the cost of getting that world um, by one, no matter whether you conquer it or settle it. Or you can actually put out a imposing dreadnought. This is definitely not a final piece right here. <laughs> uh, but you put out that dreadnought, and you control that world, and nobody else can take it but you while it's there. Awesome. Uh, you can actually, though, on your turn, if somebody else's dreadnought is there, if you pay the renown, you can move that dreadnought, if that's a legal move for you to do, and open it up for yourself. You just have to pay for it with the renown. All right, so I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to spend the two renown awesome. to put the dreadnought here. Putting the dreadnought here. And you have control. And so I'll put the blue token there to signify that, and then I'm also going to spend the last thing to put this there. So that is worth two to me. Oh no, that's still worth three, but I'm the only one who can put tokens there. Exactly. Well, okay. no, anybody can put tokens there. You're just the only one who can claim it and take it yes. for yourself. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Jojo. Appreciate that one. <laughs> All right. Let's like see what happens. For me. I did spread my resources. You did. Though, you but it's okay. What did I get here? And you get renown if I wreck your ship, right? If I Correct. claim it with his ship on it, he'll I'll get, get renown renowned. for. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh no, no, he'll get renown. He'll get renown yeah. for yeah. every ship. ship. Yeah. 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 All right, so I got two moves, a settle and a conquer. I think I think I'm gonna re-roll the white die. See what happens there. Not quite what I was hoping. That's okay. But what I'm gonna do instead then is I'm gonna go ahead and we are going to send this one to conquer here. I'm gonna use two moves. Ooh. To go ahead and it was like conquer little, that world. He was like bluffing on one side, went straight for the other. Is it to conquer it? This comes to me. It's not going to be worth three points. In addition, this world is sacrifice. Uh, it has an ability on it where I can discard one die. Uh, so instead of resolving it, I could pass it to the side, not use it, and gain three renown instantly. Uh, I do have to have a power token on it to do that. That's one of these guys. It comes with one as soon as I acquire the world. And then we're going to put out a new world. We've got Overcome. Overcome will allow you to place a champion or a dreadnought just for spending the power token that comes with it. Cool. Um, and where do your ships go now? And that's another one that breaks the morality. So now that my ships have conquered a world, they are going to go to hyperspace. I'm going to awesome. have to retrieve cool. them. Um, but then I also have uh, one move left. He's not done yet. So I'm going to take one of those ships back from hyperspace. And now it is your turn. So, so just to uh, curb this game, like you have to score sixteen, we got to score like twelve, right? <laughs> yeah. This is our first time, right? <laughs> All um, right. So also, we're when I acquired that, uh, I did something evil, so my morality is going to move one over to the dark side. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's roll these two. Okay, that works. Uh, can I? I'll Ooh, do this first. Nice. Are we down? Boom. I like the flow of this game. Yes, it feels yeah, good. It's, 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 it's fast, but strategic. Yeah. Um, you could take a little really bit of your pick turn up. if you need to kind of big brain it or something, but... But even still, even if you're taking a while, it goes... It's a, a you know reasonably what the dice quick are gonna turn, be able to so do. yeah, yeah. 
Alright, for this, now I can move this here. Uh huh. And I kind of can't move anything else. Okay, so you can forfeit that last move. Yeah. That's fine. But I get but it. But now you acquire this world. I it conquered. Yours. You've conquered. Conquered. So put it on the I conquer con side and there. Then and you get a power my token. token goes this way now, too? Yep. Okay. And you get a power token to charge up okay. your world. Go do it. And then. And then you can use those power tokens at any time during your turn, too. Okay. okay. Discard one die and ready three fleet. Well, that's cool. All right. All right. I think Very good. Cool. Well, you thought you had me I in that were, world, but you didn't. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to move the Dreadnought. I had to reclaim my Dreadnought just oh, to be like... I thought about it, but... <laughs> That'll be fun in the video. It'll be hilarious. Uh, I'm going to reroll all three. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, now you and I can only reroll the gray and the black. Correct. Until unless I put unless one you on go this back side. the other way. Yeah. All right. Which playing the scoundrel is fun, but it is a difficult task. So I'm claiming the two that of that. Okay. Ooh. Um, Fancy that. Double renown. Yeah. It's, and then I'm going to conquer this, and then I will. Play, I'll settle this by settling here. Well, bam. Well, bam. And with that, I end my turn. Very good. I guess you got some fleet everywhere right this. now. That's how I like to do it. <laughs> Spread cool. those fleets across the galaxy. My empire is spreading. Ooh, that's oh. a lot of settle and some move. I really don't like that. I'm going to stick so with that. So you have to use the white dice right now? Or you can only re-roll the can only re I can, it. You can use the white dice. I can only re-roll these. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. You get all of them once at least. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I got double move on this die. So I'm going to take these out of hyperspace. I have all my fleets now. Awesome. And now I have three settles. So, hmm. Well, not enough. I'm going to go. That's a good start. It is a great start. So I'm going to go ahead and... Sorry, you only had four. I'm going to go after this one over here. We're going to start settling that world. Cool. All right. And, yeah, I think that's all I've got right now. I'm not I'm not sad about it. <laughs> I wouldn't be. Yeah, let's roll. Oh, don't forget the black one. Oh, my black one. All right. There you go. So I can re-roll my black deck. Well, let's catch this guy in first. Sure. And I can use two to send out my little, you my cannot. champion, right? No, I can't use my champion. You, you cannot use your champion because you are evil. Uh, you could put out the Dreadnought if you want to. No. Or, you have three renown, you could roll the epic die. Let's roll the die. That's what I would do. Times two. Times two, so you spent your renown, you can double uh, either of those dice since you haven't uh, resolved them yet. So I'm going to use this first. Yep. And I get to use four, right? Yep. You get to double that white die and settle with four. All right. Nice. All right. Cool. I was happy with my move there. <laughs> I've, I have a feeling that we're going to get competitive in this one. Nah. I'm about to destroy your shit. It's, it's a big galaxy, <laughs> Jojo. It's a big galaxy. We'll see. Uh, so I got a lot of moves and I... You, 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 oh, you, don't, you get to reroll, right? Holy crap, that's five moves. Wow. It's five different moves. <laughs> you um, might just want to cash in one of those moves. I am going to cash in one of these moves to move this guy over here, right? Is that something I can do? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I'm going to do that and then I guess I conquer this. Yep. You conquer it, it's yours. Put these bad boys over here. I should have put a ship there to get the extra renown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of... Uh, I didn't realize how the renowns were going to work in the game, but now I'm feeling the power of them. Yeah, like, they're, oh, they're actually very useful, yeah. yeah. For sure. And then, uh, so we got a new world uh, coming out. This one is called Intimidate. You get to steal up to three renown from an opponent if you have this world and use its power. Oh, wow. Okay, so then I'm going to um, use both of these moves to claim my other four ships onto my home world. Okay. And then I pass my turn off to you, sir. You were like a natural already. Dude, we're not going to fight. I'm going to compliment you. I appreciate it. We'll see how you feel after I destroy your fleet. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right, so that's a lot of moves. Hmm. 
Moves are good, though. Moves are good. Well, at least one of those moves are good for you. Well, I can do something with this, actually. I can trick so you, you can, again. The only thing you can't move is from here to there. Right, or, with the move one, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I do have one settle, so I'm going to go ahead and settle over here. And I'm going to spend both of these to move all of those fleets over. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was saving you, but I'm actually conquering. You are really a villain right now. I am such a villain. Oops. So this is going to go here. And now I'm cascading. i got points going. I've got seven points, guys. Come get me. Uh, this is a... Uh... <laughs> oh. And these fleets Let's go get another Lost World out there. Phase. Yeah, let's get another world out. And this one is... What do we got? Uh, adversity. adversity. So adversity allows you to um, gain or lose. Or you can choose any player to gain or lose uh, morality. You actually move their morality. Oh. And the art on these cards is just freaking awesome. All right. Really cool stuff. So I have to keep the white. And I think I'm going to reroll this. Oh. Wait, do I want to? That's a move. This scores me right now. All right, all right I got this, I think. I only need one. I am also more evil. You are more that. evil. <laughs> right, I'm gonna spend this to move. I'm gonna spend. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'll do that no matter what. I'm gonna use my ability to spend one die to ready three fleets, so I get this nice. last one right. Yep. Okay, this goes away. That's not efficient. That's not efficient at all. I just messed my whole move up because I sell at five. That was terrible, that, terrible judgment call. It wasn't an efficient use of the power for your ships, but it accomplished something good, so. All right, all right. Well, let's my, just... my goal was to get two over there, but I totally botched it. Fair so enough. I'm still uh, in a very good position because it's going to take anyone probably two turns to get all that over there. Yeah, for sure. Unless JoJo just, like, annihilates me something. Does something crazy. <laughs> like, double move. All the fleets. Oh, he doesn't got three of those dice, so that's good. So or I three have of the to take keeps. this. Three renowns would hurt me bad. <laughs> yeah. So if he does take this, I get five renowns. You do. <laughs> you do. Investment. I don't see him getting five ships there this Any time. player gains or loses a morality, so like, I can make them lose vic like potential victory points. Yes, possibly. exactly. Okay. Or I could use it on myself to push myself over into the two... To get those points. Okay, cool. Um... I, or, or to stop people from being able to roll, too. So if you push them forward, they're going to get less re-rolls. So I'm going to spend two here. If I Can I wreck my own ship to gain renown? No. Okay. You don't gain renown. You can take your ship back if, if you happen to con uh, settle it and you had one over here. It goes uh, back, your ship will go back to your home world, home that, world? that was wrecked. Okay. But you don't get renown for taking oh, okay. out your own ship. It doesn't I, go back in the galaxy, so. Yeah. Got okay, it. so I'm doing that. I'm doing this. And then I'm going to move one of these back to take this. Move my morality. Very good. I'll take the card, take the one ship back. Good home world. These three go over here. She's like a pro. And we've got... And I'll take this bad boy. A new world coming out. This is prosperity. Uh, you get to set one die and activate one die twice. So you actually get to change the face of a die to whatever you want. And then choose any of the dice that you still have to have to available to resolve and activate it twice. That's pretty cool. That's a big spender, though. That is a very good one. It is quite expensive to pick up, though. Yeah, I'm absolutely. working on my expensive one right now. Right? That's a good one, too. I can only use my powers on my turn, I presume? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, oh finally, I might get some renown two here. Renowns. Two renowns. Two renowns. Okay. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I'm going to go ahead and... I want to roll that epic dice really bad, or else I was going to set my dreadnought on that planet. Go ahead and plan ahead. <laughs> I'll take those two renown. I'm going to pull one ship out of hyperspace with this one. And then I will go ahead and conquer. We're going to send you... If you want it right back, and settle with me. Yeah, that's. I think. I think that might be what I do. Actually, I think that's the play. Yeah. You shouldn't have told him that. No, it's okay. He's played this game multiple times. It's, he knew. I knew. I'm just it's what I called I'm a, last turn. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. Okay. <laughs> I like to share my thoughts, even if it I, yeah. hurts me. I guess I just did so with you as well. So. Oh, right. Calling the kettle. <laughs> Those are going to go there. 
I'm just thinking of actually re roll. Mm -hmm. I think I'll, I'll use this to move. Go ahead and conquer your world. Okay, conquer my world. Or settle your world, actually. Settle you were playing the good guy. I get my ship back. He wrecked my fleet, so I also get a renown. Ooh, look at these guys. These guys go back into orbit, right? Up into hyperspace, yep. Into hyperspace. Flying through the warp. That was, all, that was all my ships. Okay, I'm gonna move two back to my board. Beautiful. And not too shabby. Now you have to re-roll. You see that? Now we're getting production. another world here. We've got uh, daring rescue. Uh, if you have this, you can use its power to gain one renown and steal one renown from another player. And correct me if I'm wrong, if I gain the Tyrant, do I automatically gain two renown? Or how does no. that work? So uh, that graphic is just showing you that when you're on that side, you can use the Dreadnought. That's the Dreadnought. Yeah, oh, that's okay. the Dreadnought. Yeah. So, and that's just another showing how much it costs. No worries. Just wanted to clarify. Yep, yep. Ooh, I don't like this roll one bit. Um, mm. getting, getting punchy over there. I think I took, I think I'm I feeling took, punchy right I think now. I took too. the point lead right there. You did take the. You, have, uh, you certainly did. You, you have and 10 points. With the botched turn. You gotta fix your morality. You oh, are a scoundrel again. I am again. a scoundrel again. <laughs> it's called balance. See that? That's right. Balance. I see. I see that. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll these two die. I, I don't like that even more. Uh, yeah, but Renown gives you power. Yeah, it does. So I'm gonna take Power that. gives you control. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, cash this in for the for the renown token. Power gives you control. I'm gonna cost control. all three to roll that epic dice. Oh, so, uh, so I, thought going, I thought you were gonna go dreadnought. Going for the no, epic dice. No, it's too early die. to go dreadnought, and you can move mine, and I don't want you to do that. What are you talking about? And oh, so nice. I, does that mean I get another token? Yes, you okay. can place an extra power to token choose? on top of whichever world you want. Yep. Um, Rack two bleeds. Yeah, I'm gonna do the wreck. I'm gonna wreck, be able to wreck four fleets eventually. That's dangerous. Um, and then I have to resolve these. Um, Is this gonna get a little cutthroat towards the end? Like, if someone's close to. It yeah. can. It definitely I'm gonna can. Move a ship. I, I feel like a little munchkin coming, like, oh, I'm gonna hit 10 points and. Oh, yeah, no, when, once there's a, a good handful of powers that you have, all of a sudden you get to a point where you're going, I'm stealing your renown from you, okay. and then I'm going to wreck your fleets over so, here, and now it's going to be my world, and <laughs> yeah, so you can get gnarly. So I'm going to I might have to play some misdirection. Yeah, I'm thinking why, that's misdirection. Why, see, that's what I thought. It was going to get. Yeah. I saw the cutthroatness of this game quick. Yeah, yeah. With the <laughs> movement. That's why I thought me and you were going to start being at odds. It's a lot of movement. We're going to use one of them for sure. Yeah, no, I'll keep the gray one because that's a, a. This die has more movement on it oh, than anything okay. else. Because uh, it's a new So the gray die. has more movement. More movement. The white has. More uh, settle. Settle, and then the black has more. Conquer. And the black has more. Cool. Conquer. Yep. Cool. Uh, which, uh, with the, the game, there'll actually be a reference on the back of the rule book so you can actually see oh, yeah. Yeah. all the faces of the die. Unique dice are always fun. Yeah. Are these going to be sure. engraved, or how are they going to be? Uh, yeah, they're going to be engraved, awesome. acrylic dice. Um, yeah, cool. definitely custom dice. They'll be really cool looking. Awesome. All right. It's not a bad roll. Well, I'll take that. That's interesting. It gives you options. So I'm going to get a renown because I have to keep the white die. I'm not able to roll since I am... A tyrant, or actually, I am a uh, scourge in the galaxy right now. Um, I have this move here. I'm going to go ahead and pull two fleets out of hyperspace, and I can settle or conquer. Um, I am going to go ahead and this could make or break your game right now. I mean, you know, I'm going to go full villain, and I'm going to start conquering this world over here. You win. It's because of that move right there. We'll see. Quite possibly. Right. We'll see. I've got a trick up my sleeve. <laughs> I forget what your your things do. Oh, bummer. I know. <laughs> and my eyesight. He's a villain, okay? My eyesight is too bad to see it from here. <laughs> well, uh, so I want to keep that for sure. Or do you? I do. I I'm gonna re-roll these guys. So I am at max renown, by the way, guys. I can't gain any more renown. Right. You, get, you can you only hold five. five. Yeah. All right. Well, first I'm going to take my two ships back. Okay. I'll grab a renown because that just seems easy right now. And then I'm going to conquer. Double conquer. Double conquer. Let's just let's just join the party. Can you come hang out with me? Let's right. join the party. If when I wreck fleets, can I wreck? 
both of yours. I'm like, can I wreck two of uh, three of his and one of yours? What does it say? It just says wreck two fleets. So. Sure. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. My turn. Yeah. I might do it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. He just wants to be equal. He's like, I'll wreck one of yours and one of his. Right. I, I want to be less problematic. Well, that's a good rule. That's some. That's some renown for sure. I might take the three renown, roll the epic dice. It gives you that's some what power. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna immediately use these three, just uh, for sake. Troll okay. this. I'm feeling spicy. There you go. Got another world power. Oh, another charge, man. And so I, I'm just gonna immediately use this to remove your two die. <laughs> just mine. And I won't even. Claim uh, do they it. go back? Yeah, they go back to your home. Oh, perfect. Okay, so they'll go into orbit. Okay. And the, he doesn't claim any renown from that. No. No, not, so. not from that. Okay. Point. I. Hmm. Okay. Question. I'll have to check on that one, but I don't think you get it. I think only thing that happens when you wreck them from taking a world. Cool. And then for my move, uh, I'm probably wrong. I'm though. taking no, this. I think that would make sense because he's using an ability to give me a disadvantage. Why should I get some type of advantage from it? Well, it maybe gives him another question as to whether he should do it or not, though. Yeah. That's why. That's why I'm and helping. I'm okay with taking it right now. Because he's taking I actions don't... away from you that yeah. you have to do work again. But he also burnt his at well, kind of burnt an action. I, I mean, I, he used he used three renowns to roll that dice yeah. to get the world power. It's yeah. true. All right. I'm okay with this right now. I'm okay with that too. I'm better yeah, with it. I'm still not mad at you. I w that, it wasn't meant to be a cruel intention. It was just necessary, <laughs> and I was gaining all these power die or powers. You I just don't like the color red. I'm gonna re-roll both my black and my gray. I'm like a bull in that way. Ooh, okay, okay. okay. Huh? That's not bad. I got this. I know what I'm doing. You All can right. move every single ship right now. I can. So I'm going to go ahead and send two here to start settling that fine world. I am going to send two over here. I'm going to use my overcome token to place my champion. Oh. And now that world is mine because I just reduced the cost and to conquer it. Wrecks your ship. That means I gain your a renown. Your fleet gets wrecked, but you get a renown. Cool. These go to hyperspace. The champion comes back home. This becomes mine. I have intimidate. Very nice. Very nice. Eight. Eleven. I'm gonna points. charge that one up, and then I have one move, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a fleet out of Ooh. hyperspace. That's a cool looking card. And mine there you go. games. Move any three opponent's fleets. Very Martian. Right. Yeah, he's cool. All, All right. right. Roll and roll. And my tyranny continues. I am now a tyrant. Which means you can only roll one die. I can re -roll only re-roll the, roll black, the black, die. black die, yep. I thought about changing your morality that way just to mess with your rolls a bit. <laughs> I just don't know how much how impactful that would be. All right. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> These guys first. So you have eight points, soft ten. Uh, or eleven. Points, I have eleven soft points, 13. soft thirteen. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Math was hard. Yeah, it's all good. Really, really, really hard. <laughs> I only need five more points to end the game. Very nice. I think with that, you know, I'd like to roll that champion die, right? Or is it too late to do that? You're spending your, you're spending the renown to roll the. So champion. it's a risk because you won't a, be able to. Yeah, uh, I can't you, double up on my dice right you've now. Already, right, you can't okay. double up on your dice because you've already resolved. So I'll do it on the next one. Yeah, I'm saving for the next one. Good. It was an advanced move in my head. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> You don't get to re-roll the black die now. Only the black one. Now you can't go any more. You can't go further over now, right? I can't get any more evil. Yeah. I am as evil as I can be. Yeah. <laughs> but you got a plus two now. But I do get a plus two in final scoring. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, place my three here. Ooh. Gain a renown. I'm gonna conquer this. Very nice. So two renown. Okay. I get my two fleets back, you and I so get much renown. two renown. But I'm full, so I can't get them. Okay. Why I did that? Yep. Let the record Didn't show. matter at that time, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to power this up. And I'm going to go ahead and spend another one of these to remove these. 
All right, and then we have a new world coming out. This is Innovate. Uh, if you use the power, it can discard one die and set two to any face. So you would uh, only use two of your three dice, but you would get to activate the other two twice. Cool. Or, uh, I mean, not that. You get to change the other two to whatever you want. Okay. There you go. All right. We're in the end game now. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, Just say it. My turn. Just say it. Uh, We're in the end game now. Pass me those dice. Let's do this. Oh. That is a lot of move. That is a lot of move. It's well, I'm going to reroll the black die. Let's see how this goes. That's the conquer. <laughs> that and it's the only die I can reroll. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hmm. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and roll that epic die. And I get a recharge for a power token. That's cool. I'll take that. And you guys to renown, renown down. So you and you might have said that you can't conquer this. Oh yes. Yeah, so this one right here, it has a line there because it's unconquerable. Okay. You okay. only can settle that one. Cool. Yep. You are correct. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use these three moves to get all of my ships out of hyperspace, and then I can either start conquering or settling. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put one on mind games for now. Mind games. And then. I'm going to actually use this world power to steal three renown from you, sir. I'm just getting the crap end of and the stick I right now. And I am back at full renown, and you have one. There we go. Both of you are bullies. <laughs> Villains, both of us. Both Look of at us. it. Look at that. We're both evil. What do you expect? You're just, you're just a scoundrel. Just a scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> the decisions are getting harder. So I have to keep that still, so I'm going to do this. Get it renown. And then I'm going to re roll. Both of these die. Yeah, double conquer and a settle. So I'm going to put two on mind games and I'll put the settle here. Okay. Wanted to do that differently, but here we are. That was my pain earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. <laughs> Even I've had a couple moments where I'm like, ah, oh, that's not what I want to do. You get so eager to spend the die. Right? You think, like, I I'll just get rid of this one. It makes sense. It's an easy decision. Like, oh, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> All right. Um, what to do? What to do here? Hmm. That was a really good roll for us with him. Yeah, no, I'm happy with it. So, the only problem is he's got a ton of renown. I wonder how he got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, doing stuff in the galaxy, being evil. Um, I'm going to go ahead and re-roll the black die. Hopefully I can get a double fist. Nope, got double move. Not at all what I wanted. That's even better. It's he, terrible. He can only get, he can't that even get terrible. anything from it. So you know what I'm going to do right now? He can move roll the epic die. I am going to spend two renown and I'm going to put the dreadnought here. How dare you. <laughs> so now it is not yours. Um, and then I can't move them anywhere. Burn those tokens. Burn them. They, um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this to get a renown. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass on, pass on those actions. Not the best turn for me. There we go. That is not too bad. Oh, no. Uh, it's not great for me. <laughs> so, I want to send these guys out. And I want to move those guys. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not great for you. He conquered. It doesn't win the game. No. Uh, puts but, you at 15. So close. I'm turning evil, right? So close. Uh, yep, now you go toward the evil side of your morality there. So you're at 14 points, right? And you have become a villain. 15 points. He has 15, yep. Okay. Oh, Here's no. Card. It's still technically my turn, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If I want to... Can I do this anytime or just on my turn? On your turn. You got the dreadnought. He is over there, and you can move the dreadnought and, and take control of it. If you like. Might hurt myself, but I'm not going to do anything, I don't think. <laughs> okay. I was hoping you would move it. <laughs> right? It was, you said you too. I know. <laughs> That's why I was like, I kind of want you to two to waste your resources, you and played, not me. You played it smarter there. If you had done it for me, I would have really appreciated it, but I understand. My turn? Cool. All right, Sorry, all right, all right. I did see that step. No worries. <laughs> you gotta wet that whistle. Yep. Okay. Um, so this goes. Ooh. My bad, I got a little overzealous. Ooh. Oh. That's not too bad. No, it's not bad settle, at all. Settle. This is the time of the game where, it's, since we've only played it like once now, uh, this is our first time playing it that thicker strategy element comes in you haven't had enough repetition and you're like right okay yeah, once, once you get to that end game i'm gonna roll the even end. with having played it over and over again there's moments where you're like ah, how do i do this <laughs> i'm gonna roll the epic die to do this awesome all right i spent three to roll the epic die gotcha, before gotcha. i resolve anything Ooh, you get to place the dreadnought or champion for free oh that's good for you so i'm going to place it, this on so that that's my little control there that. I can move. You can move it wherever you want. Or can you leave it there and replace it with his token? You can leave it there and replace it with his token, cool. make it his world too, yep. You're gonna fight over that world? Have you used any of your dice yet? I can place, okay, okay. No, I haven't used any okay. of my dice yet. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put the dreadnought back. I'm gonna place the hero, because I can do that. Okay. Right? Well, the, you can place the champion there, but then you haven't messed with the dreadnought, and it stays there, and it's mine. Oh, okay. That so is not that's how that works. Either dreadnought or champion, okay. and they both can be on a world. So it's cheaper for you to take, but you can't take it until my dreadnought's gone. That still works for me. Okay. Okay. So th this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, spend a renown. I'm gonna resolve this token, gain a renown. Okay. I'm going to steal a renown from you. Of course. I'm gonna spend that those two renown. To you also gain the renown. Uh, it's steal one and gain one, right? Gain one, steal one. So you get one out of the pool, cool. and you stole one from so me. So net one, I'm yep. going to change this to mine. Wow. Move one of these homies over here. And it's Take yours. Take one from the space to my home planet. Take this thing. You and get your you green. Get my ship back, but... One renown. And I also get a renown, yep. I gain your, this back. You got the boy. mind games. Um, I'm going to put this back because I don't want to take that on accident. Actually, I'm going to take it back because it's for this. Um, and then these homies go to hyperspace. And I believe with that, I have uh, resolved everything but, the, every, oh, sorry. Everything but this. We might not see that one anymore. So coming out real quick before you resolve that, okay. you want to see the new world. Uh, it is called Tribute. Uh, the power of this world is... Um, you get to use the power of an unacquired world in place, so you can spend this token to do something that's over okay. here. That, and that is pretty cool. It's worth a lot of points. <laughs> okay, and then so I can I can resolve this die just to move one of my fleet, right? Yep. And I will... I mean, I'll just put it on here for now. It's fine. Cool. There you go, sir. All right. See if I can't do anything crazy this round, because if I don't, I think John's got us. I don't know. Well, JoJo's at least I think John's ending the JoJo's game. JoJo's got a lot of tokens. Oh yeah, I don't want you to do anything on your next turn. I have to roll really well. Hmm, <laughs> I can triple settle. Uh, if that doesn't do too and much for me. <laughs> Well, unless I spend some now. I have a so I have a thing that I can move three opponent fleets. I have a power with the mind games. 
can I make them null by putting them on the conquer side of this? No, um, it makes sense. Go on I this just side, yeah. Fair well, question. I want to make sure. Trying to break the game, Jojo. Hey, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's my first time. I want to strategize as best as possible. Yeah, no, I got you. Uh, imagine, imagine uh, Screw Loose there. That's the name of this art piece, actually. Mm. Uh, is in control of that world and uh, okay. basically will kill any conquerors that come near it anyway. He's Perfect. just he's just channeling his inner evil right now. Of course, he's very of course. evil. You're both no, very I, evil. I'm with you. I'm evil. Yeah. I get it. But he's too good for us. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. What am I going to do here? I have only the ability to roll the black die. Uh, I might as well keep the three flags, though. So I'm going to roll the epic die. Let's see what I get out of that. I get the champion or dreadnought for free. Uh, let's go ahead and place my champion. I'm going to place it here. And then I'm going to resolve this, get to Renown. And then I'm going to also place my Dreadnought here. And then I'm going to send three fleets to settle Innovate. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see if I can put something together. I can't re-roll the white. That stays for sure. That is something I need. Oops, sorry. Uh, I, uh, I Down know. to the wire, man. I know. <laughs> I'm like trying to do the math. Well, of it's like, risk and reward right now right. for me. It's, I'm going to leave that there. I am going to cash this in for renown. I'm going to cash these three into roll the red die. Okay. Go for it. You get free champion or dreadnought move. Uh, I'm going to. Move. You have your champion and your dreadnought on there. Wow. I do. Between the epic die and my your villainous uh, ability to call the dreadnought. Yeah, how dare you. I'll move them here right now. Okay. Uh, move these two over because that's easy to do. Yep. And I can send one out here. Mm. I think that's all I'm going to do, maybe. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I have a feeling you're on deck with JoJo now. <laughs> yeah, no. He's he taking care of my fleets. And I'm like, I think he's going after you now. <laughs> Probably, probably. And if he wants to go after <laughs> me, it's one fleet, right? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. You wanna roll first? Yeah, I'm gonna roll first. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So would you say your re-rolling capability, you're at a disadvantage right now? I am at a disadvantage, yeah. absolutely. So I'm seeing that both of you are on a disadvantage right now. For sure. Now, playing the scoundrel puts you at a high advantage as far as rolling the dice go. Um, but it's hard to stay in the middle. <laughs> yeah. No, it's Spend hard. three to roll this. Sure. I've already resolved those two. I think. Champion or Dreadnought. Yeah. Not bad. Could be worse. Um, I'm going to take your take control of the dreadnought. Dreadnought. Nice. Hey, is yeah, your piece back? My little control marker. Um, and then I am going to conquer this. That's not where my turn finishes. I am going to move. Use this to move three fleet. Okay. So I'm gonna move you one here, one here, <laughs> and one here. Very good, very good. Um actually <laughs> You shouldn't have done that. Why? No no, I just like I feel like no, go ahead. Just do what you're gonna do. No, I, I, I'm, <laughs> let him, let I'm him trying to do. <laughs> I think I am gonna destroy one of each of your fleets. Oh okay. 
I was like, if you're just gonna destroy it, it's just gonna get, uh, go. Well, here. Uh, back here. Yeah, right? back there. Okay. I wanted to. Sp he has to spend movement die now yeah. to even do. You're he, right. You're 100 percent right. Yeah, yeah. No, spreading me out he, was good. He can take that back and still has his hero on it to uh, yeah. make this a four. It was a, it was a good move. It was very good. <laughs> I have the things. I need Any to be able to do it. Or loses vitality. Morality. All right. Morality. My turn. So at this point, you're only helping me. Well, I can I can take away soft points. Yeah. Or. You could. You're right. That's that is my goal with that move. Okay. I have zero soft points. It's I'm not worried about you. <laughs> I got no move. Although you are the biggest threat to finish this off, which is also scary. I felt like I've blown like three moves. That's the best part. So, but it's dice. It's dice. It's like totally I, dice. I need, I need a movement. No matter. I need. Enough go ahead. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what my win condition is here. Get two renown. Is what stresses me out. Yeah. I like games that stress me out. I, yeah. I like them. Yeah, no, I, it's, I care. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm vested. You're vested now. Um, I'm like, a, I think I'm one turn. I'm one turn less I'm than going you, to or more than you guys. Roll the epic die. But it also matters on your roll. On my roll. All right, that's three of those in a row for us. And that <laughs> is, that is. And see, would you want to roll? Curious. I was hoping for a double. Okay, that's what I was hoping for too. <laughs> I was really hoping for a double. That's okay though. Um, See, so I get to I be the champion of the dreadnought. Well, I just go ahead and make this mine again. There you go. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and send two fleets to work on settling there. Okay. And that is all I can do right now. Really, uh. I think it's going to take me here. this too turn long. one more. That's my guess. Yeah, that's... They have to keep that. <laughs> that, turn, that plotting, see, plotting. That roll makes me happy. If I, can, I think I might be able to pull this through if I can... That's better. No matter what, whoever finishes out, we all go one more. Or you, Everybody, uh, whoever... Other than the person who finished yeah, out. Yeah, once they finish it out, everyone else gets a turn. Let's get yep. the two renowns. Let's do that. Can you take a world power? Is there a, a way to take someone's world power away? I think so. But it would be, I don't it would be from one of these. cards or yeah. in, in the expanded yeah, cards. We have a few more cards that are here. That's but yeah, it would be a world power. That seems kind of like a cool mechanic. Like, you're sitting on a few of your world powers, like... If he is sitting on one, if I could, just be yeah. Like, hey. I'm not. There's some really interesting stuff like that in the events too. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, just to uh, make it fun. How all that works. I'm gonna take control of the dreadnought, and I'm gonna leave it there. All right. <laughs> Very good. Thanks. That works. Why does it work? Because I still. Because I'm not. <laughs> you couldn't. You, I couldn't oh. take that anyway. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No worries. I was just proud of my moment. Very good. <laughs> I'm proud of your moment too, man. Okay, no, I'm good. I feel like either way it was balanced if I went that way. Ooh, that was a good roll. Good roll. <laughs> Could be better. No, I good mean, roll for me. Yeah, yeah, I know. All of us aren't really rolling those those high doubles right now. No. In the game, we were rolling doubles like crazy. Right. So this is very bad for me. It's been a. It's not terrible, but a slow few turns for us here. <laughs> I can't nail biting so though. I can't do anything. With that. So, uh, do you want to take control of the dreadnought? If you want to, instead of using any of them, you can pass them on and take three fleets out of here. I can pass. I can't use these two. Or can I pass? So do I have to pass them all? If you want to, you can pass all three of them but you have, and get three put fleets. Put your renown back. But I can't. Just, but you have to put the renown back. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So. That's, that's what, an option. 100% yeah. what I'm okay. going to do. Okay. That's what I need that's to cool. do. That's if cool. If you can't that do anything on the dice, you have the it's option. It's almost to like a mulligan, like, but you're just going to get ships. Yeah. Okay. okay. And it does say that right here uh, in the middle oh. of your turn. Resolve three dice or ready, or ready three, three ships. ships. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. So if you don't resolve any of them, you can ready three ships. That's cool. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Okay. I'm going to oh. reroll the black one. All right. All right. Can you, if you have the right die, you could win right now. I don't think you have it. Well, we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm going to move these two fleets here. Okay. And then I'm going to spend this to take control of this dreadnought. Oh, he had it. I didn't know what he had over there. Yep. 
And then uh, that world becomes mine because my champion is there, making it cost only four yeah. for me to settle here. I didn't know if you had the Dreadnought power. I was like, if he doesn't have Dreadnought power, we're, it's, we're good. I had it right there waiting for me. But you're going to lose a soft point now. No, I'm going to lose a soft point, but that's okay. Sugar's the end game? Um, I have... Well, I'm 16. Yep, I have exactly 16, right? So that triggers it. That triggers the end game. So each of you can get another turn. I'm going to take this oh, back that and Rex. gain my renown. Uh, these go to hyperspace. We got one world coming out. Uh, it is Doomsday. Wreck all fleets on a world you occupy. So if you got anybody there, you can wreck all the fleets there. Okay. Um, that's really cool. Clears out a whole space. Because you got some sweet robots with laser eyes. <laughs> All, All right. right. So we can't damage his points there. So I got to go over his points. Yep. You gotta, you gotta surpass me now. <laughs> uh, I just wanna make sure I'm missing. Okay, I wanna roll first. I have no ships out there. Right? Cause you took care of my ship. Ooh, got a lot of doubles though. Double, double. That one. <laughs> And I do get this power token. Not that it, I'm not going to get to use it, but. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to reroll this, I think. And now's a moment where going full to one side, because we're so ah. close, mm -hmm. could have helped you. <laughs> I think this is going to help. Huh? No, I'm only able to do three. Most, I mean, yeah. The most I can do is three right now. I'm not gonna be able to score. Because, oh wait, I could, I could go here. And then I could spend this. Nice. There so you move go. this here. There you go. The dreadnought here, there. I now have that, right? Wait, how did, what? Wait, yeah, how did, how did you do both Oh, those? yeah, it says move Place and. champion and the dreadnought. There you go, perfect. And I now conquer this. Now you conquer that because your champion helped you out. Okay, that puts you at... Oh, he, he, he just took it from me, that's 13, for sure. <laughs> 19 points. Yep. I get a little guy here now, right? These are gone. What does Wreck that do? all fleets on the world you occupy. So... Right, we got another world coming this out. This is going to be victory. Activate one action die twice. You do that to double up a die. So I don't think I can win. You might be able to score. I might so be able to score. That's all, all right, I got. Let's just roll. Let's see where we end up. You got to somehow make up. Oh, and I turned more evil. Six points, though. Uh, oh, seven points. Seven points. Grab me a point. <laughs> Well, he's got that one ability still, too. Right. <laughs> we're both you, have the, you have the most points? He has the most so. points, So I'm going to yeah. take away your soft point. Okay. Um, okay. I move back to the villain. Yep. That was bad. That was worse <laughs> than what I wanted. All right, whatever. Um, uh, you don't want renown right now? Yeah, right? Uh, I can't do anything, unfortunately, except for just place my people, but I can't capture... You need conquers. I, yeah, I, I can't do anything except for do that for my three turns, and that's it. So, I, You take control of the Dreadnought. I, I could take for control fun. of the de Dreadnought and just... For fun. That, will, that would have been mine. <laughs> Just because I just need to because. take whatever I can. You just needed point. one move. One move. Yeah. Here. There we go. That's All it. All right. That's the end so of the we'll game. So we'll tally up our points. I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 16, 13, 17 15. points at the end of the game. I have 15 total. I got 19. Pretty yeah, close game. 19. Pretty close game. Yeah. That was uh, fun. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for playing, guys. What would you think? I have I like so it. many more ideas. Yeah, I could have played that. So, a couple which ways. I really thought it was going to be a lot more cutthroat at the end, but with the misdirection and the, the uh, we don't know how we're going to roll, especially since you both could only reroll one, it cha did change the dynamic of the game, which is And good. it always depends on uh, what world powers you have available, too, because yeah. uh, some of them are really, like, stabby, and yeah. some of them are really, like, manipulative, like what yeah. I did to end the game. Mm -hmm. Being able to take control of the Dreadnought, even though we wasted resources to do it, we could have used that to reroll one of the epic die to 
Yep. But you can't, more of you actually can't re-roll the epic. Not re-roll, rather. But, uh, just but roll, roll it. it. Yeah, roll yeah, it. for sure. And then uh, the world power, you actually just, for five right now, we didn't, none of us used it, but you actually just, just yeah. you know, that's kind of cool, you too. You could so. blow your whole stock of max renown and recharge one of these worlds, and those powers are awesome. It seems so much more fun to roll the epic die to get It that is out. so fun to roll the <laughs> epic Take the, take the chance. <laughs> yeah. It's a All random right, well, chance and really cool powers. Before we close off, yes. how long is this, uh, do we know the, or er, off the top of your head, do you know the end date of the Kickstarter? How many more days we got left? Uh, we've got 17 days left right now. So. Uh, March... Or, so March, March 3rd? March 3rd, 2020? Yeah. Uh, Alright, cool. So if you want to uh, check this game out, it's available. Uh, what is the basic pledge right now? Or? Uh, basic pledge to get a base copy of the game is $45. Okay. Uh, for $90, we have a deluxe bundle that also comes with a campaign mode that is like a legacy style game. There's right. a map. Uh, each time you play, of course, you're going to be putting stickers on a map taking over sectors, gaining new powers that you can always use uh, as you acquire them okay. uh, in the next games that you play. And um, so that's a really fun way to, to build on the game, yeah. play it over and over again. Uh, there's also um, a, a pack of event cards that come in that bundle, so extra things that can happen during gameplay uh, and more cards that we're unlocking uh, just as far as worlds go. Awesome, awesome. I really enjoyed it. So there's uh, also uh, a coloring oh. book, action book. Uh, it's got puzzles and coloring Stre pages and stuff okay. with Josh Kirby's art that you can color yourself. Uh, so yeah, forgot to is mention that. Is that a stretch goal or is that an, an add-on? Cool. That's uh, part of the bundle. It's Ooh. an add-on as well. Yeah. Okay, all right, awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's so, really cool. Some really cool stuff. If you like the art, there's also that. Awesome. 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 Do you have any questions? You've just asked most of them. So. Excellent. Do you have any <laughs> more plugs you'd like to plug right now? Uh, no. Uh, just check it out on Kickstarter. Um, you know, uh, we are 300% funded almost. Awesome. Uh, That's good. That's so, good yeah, we're, we're, we're moving on up Congratulations. there. It's, it's going out. If you so. want to get it, you will get it if you back the project. Yeah, the nice, th the nice thing is it's not really taking up an entire table. And that right. it's, it's, it's nice. So yeah. sometimes, like, this has a lot of strategy involved. Sometimes the heavier strategy gets to take up the whole table. You can play this on a coffee so. table. And what's great about it is the rules are so simple. Uh, you can uh, play it with your casual crowd. Yep. They'll enjoy it. You can play it with your gamer crowd, too, though. And there's enough strategy that it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I can definitely tell. This. The depth of this game is really fun. Yeah. Make sure. <laughs> so uh, we'll close off. So um, I'm John. I'm Jordan. I'm Jared. Grab some friends. Play some games. We'll catch you next time. Thank you. We left the camera on. Yeah. Why are you still here? Are people still watching us right now? I'm not sure. Are they? If well, so, just Mom? like, just like, follow, and subscribe. Hit that little button down there. Yeah. Be great. Catch we're, us next time. Yeah, we're gonna go home. We're a little tired. Yeah. yeah that's good, guys. Yeah. Play some time. I'm never playing with you again. Can we have some help, Tim? I am helping. Yeah.